Today we're in Jackson, Minnesota, and I would like to go over um, doing a setup file for AutoPath. So in our case here, I've documented AutoPath out in the field with my previous pass, which was a uh, strip till machine to putting down some fertilizer. So, and, and now we, we took the information from that, we sent it to the operation center. Now we want to do a setup file to generate the auto path lines to send back to the, our planter tractor. The first thing we've got to make sure we do is we go into our preference file. So we, we click on the gear alongside of our, our organization name. Then we would go into settings. And then if we go down to the bottom of the list, there's an auto path, you turn that on or off. Okay, if it's off and you want to turn it on, you hit the edit button on the lower right and you can select to turn it on and off. So we want to turn auto path on. Okay, now we're gonna go and do a setup file. So we go to setup, select setup file creator. Okay, we, we, have, we, have, we have the ability to select our display. So it's a Gen 4 display. So we're gonna select the top one. And uh, we're gonna name this demo. And we're gonna do it, create it from an existing file. <clears throat> and as this is gonna be our planner setup, so we'll select that file. We'll say it's start. It brings up our fields that are in our operation center and land manager. We're just gonna work with the east of building field. Up on the top here, it's, we have our auto path selection. You can see where our variety of locators that we've dealt with over the years. Right next to it now, there's a new box. So we want to select which source of our auto path guidance line we did. So I had a, an application. So we select that. Keep in mind that each pass of auto path across the field selects the previous pass you made. So if you go through the field and you do a strip till operation with an eight row machine, then you come back and plant with a 24 row planter. It follows the eight row path and, and it generates lines to, to fit the rows for the eight row strip till machine. Then after your 24 row planter, you bring the information into the operation center, do a setup file, bring it back out for your sprayer. It follows the 24 row width to more accurately fit the sprayers, for an example, to 120 foot width. And then if we come back with a 12 row coordinate on our combine, it brings that 120 foot width back down to 24 to give us the most accurate type of guidance lines for our next pass based off the roll. So you can see we've selected all our items that we want to select. These are our guidance lines. We have our, our field, our guidance lines, and on the bottom here, it's got its own terminology. I didn't enter that in. It popped that up off of our documentation that we did out in the field. So we just want to make sure we select that and we go through the rest of our setup file. Okay. Type, type in 117 for our serial number of our tractor. Select this tractor, <clears throat> our implement. Okay, the planter's been selected. Okay, hit next. And our products, we have corn. Um, this is kind of a quick setup file. And then we've got our, our fertilizer that we used. But, um, operators, you can select, op put in an operator's name if you wish. Uh, go ahead and hit summary. In summary, we go through, we can see what we're doing here, okay? We were sending the file to a 4600 display with name demo, and you can see here in our land, we've got six different items, and we've selected one field, one boundary for that field. We have three different guidance lines for that field, no flags, and here's our one auto path. We just wanna make sure that that's in our setup file. And then we have the rest of our items, so go ahead and create file. And we're gonna send it to the same tractor again. Go ahead and hit create and send. And since our tractor has a 4G MTG with a JD Link Connect, we can take the information from the operation center and send it to the tractor. And then when I get in the tractor, I can take and upload that file that I've sent and it'll populate my auto path guidance lines. We'll talk a little bit about auto path and the display. First thing we have to do is make sure that our display and our tractor are capable of auto path. For the capability of, of AutoPath, we need 4.0 automation in our display. So we can go into System, and go, we're going to Software Manager, hit our activations, and as you can see, we have AutoPath as a, as a capability. Now it's a new feature in the capability with our activations, and we can see that we have them all green. 
um, which means that they're all active. We have uh, 4.0 capability in our display. For auto track operation, we source or generate the line off of a, a strip till or a planting pass. In this particular field, I've done a, a strip till path, so I've documented where my rows are, where I want to plant. So now, when I come along to plant, I have to take my recording data from this field, load it into the operation center, do a setup file, and I take that setup file and bring it into this, uh, this tractor, and I've sent the setup file um, over the air with uh, my MTG. So to get the file, I just hit menu, go to system, go to file manager, okay, and it popped up automatically on, on import. I would select import if it's on another selection. Um, select import from receive files. As you can see, I have one file that's not yet imported. So I'm gonna select that file. <clears throat> it tells me I have a demo auto path. It shows that I made the uh, the file, so it's, it's highlighted. <clears throat> I select next, and it'll load that file into my display. As it loads the file, it brings in the normal boundaries, equipment, products, that type of thing, guidance lines for our farms and fields. But it also brings in the auto path line. So you, as you can see here, I've got one field, but if I have one auto path data line, you can see it's in my selection, so I highlight everything that I want to bring in. Hit import. And it'll bring all the data into my display. Okay. Now if I go into guidance, I want to make sure all my stuff is turned on. Auto track is turned on. Everything looks good to where I want to see it. Okay. Hit my, uh, my set track. And you can see the, the tracks for this field show up. And you can see an auto path line. It is not one of the lines that I've made in the past. It is just simply named auto path. So if I, collect, if I select that line, it'll say OK to generate. I hit OK. And now you see the screen has popped up with the yellow lines. I've got a blue line and a white line. The blue line is my auto track line that I would use for my, for my tractor to follow. The white line is where the implement wants to be. The yellow lines show my individual rows. So we're gonna take and we're gonna drive across this field. I only did coverage on part of this field. As you can see right now, we're moving along on the headland. So if I turn on, hit my resume switch for auto track, I turn my auto track on, and now it's following my, my auto track line. I haven't lowered my planter down, so I don't have any documentation, but it would document if I started this, this plant. And now if I turn, to go down the field, my normal pass up and down the field. If I hit resume, it'll select that pass. And you can see right here, it, it only documented what I recorded. So when I did my strip till, I didn't make it all the way up to the end of the field. I have a small gap. So it shows that pretty clear in the display where it did not apply any fertilizer. And on this side of the field, I have an AB curve and it just, just follows the AB curve. AutoPath gives us the ability to generate a line off of our previous pass for planting so that we can come back with our next operation, whether it be spraying or strip till or harvest. And that gives us the benefit of following the planter roll with our AutoTrack system. It reduces the amount of down crop we might run over if we come back with a, a spray or a application of any sort or side dress. It also benefits in our combine, gives us the ability to follow a roll easier, whether it be soybeans or corn or whatever crop you have. It also enhances the ability of row sense. It gives you the ability to select the row based off of your previous planting passes and not just guessing or counting where your rows are. A lot more accurate coming back into the field from the headland or starting in the middle of a field. For anyone that has automation 3.0 in a Gen 4 display, all it takes is an activation that uh, we can help you with with CNB and there's no cost to upgrade your activation. For customers who don't have the automation activation in your display, we can upgrade any Gen 4 display to Automation 4.0. AutoPath lines can be generated with any Gen 4 display with 10.11 software or newer. The requirements are 
for a 4640 or a 4600 display to use the line.